Hello everybody. Welcome to the Labyrinth of Limitations. Uh, I thought I would, uh, haven't done this in a bit, and do something with the app. I've got an update that's almost done that I'll be sharing with you in another video soon. But right now we're going to look at autumn leaves and you might have caught, there's an episode of Chris's Things I Learned from Barry Harris channel where he is looking at autumn leaves and he's doing moves that are like this type of thing. So like you start on a floor of the elevator, like like the, um, this is the shell, and then I might go out to the octave, and then out to drop two, and then something like that. Or I might start from just a third, and then go out. So contrary motion moves, um, harmonizing the melody of autumn leaves. So we're going to look at that with the app, and I'm going to enter in. I'm I'm playing autumn leaves today in uh, G major and E minor because a student of mine is doing it that way. So I thought it'd be nice to do that so that he could see this. And um, so this is a two, five in the key of G major, and then one. So I'm entering this into the app, and that should be on the screen, maybe somewhere around here. But um. Uh, and then I go four. So this is, so this would be A minor seven, otherwise known as C major six, and then D seven, and then G, and then C major six. And then I'm going to go to the minor, E minor, the relative minor. I'm gonna go two, five, one, one. And then I'm going to play through, I'm gonna click this so that goes away. And I'm going to make this not the tritones minor. See, it says here I'm going to hit minus to go down the scale of scales. I'm going to latch this, and I'm going to go forward to the five chord over here, and that's what I want actually. But if I didn't see that, I would hit plus or minus. I just hit minus a bunch to get down to dominant seven flat five. And so now um, I'm just going to turn down the volume of this synth just a bit, and then. Um, here we go. Uh, let's check this out. So the way we, I have my student practice in this, and I'm recommending this, you can use the app by, um, I'm going to uh, take, I'm going to go down the elevator to whatever floor I want. I'm gonna go down to say thirds, because those are pretty. And little, little things are nice. So what I did was I held down the shift key and pressed down a bunch of times until I got down the elevator. And now I'm going to, um, now I'm going to set my guitar down, and then I'll go uh, shift and uh, left. And there it is. There's my third. Now, um, that doesn't look like... Oh, because I'm on C major 6, and I want to be on E minor, so I'm going to get to the end, because I'm at the... B the uh, tune begins on a pickup, so the first three notes are over E minor 6 in this case. So I'm going to go down the elevator to thirds, and then here I am with E on top. So that's what I want. I want uh, this, and that's what it says to do. And then I'm gonna hit shift up. So I'm gonna go, and then it's saying to go, that works fine, or, or I can, you could find on different strings if you want. And then it's gonna, I'm gonna hit shift and up. And here I am. So now it's got, um, and then, and sometimes this is something I'm going to work on with an update is it has you kind of skip funnily because of the logic of how the elevator works. So it went, which is kind of funky, right? To go, it'd be better, but you know, um, and then, uh, and then we go down, up. I'm going to go to C major six. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to hit space and, uh, and I'm going to go to um, something that has, I'm going to go to a drop two. And the reason why is because, is because this allows me to do this motion. So that has my bottom line going down incrementally. So, so I just recognized C and I want to have something around here and that's going to be a, drop two, and you could just experiment in the app and find one that works for you. But then, now I have a move that I like. So it is thirds, 
triads, um, shell chords, and then a drop two. And I'm going to do that at the next part of the progression. On D7, I'm going to go down to thirds. So I hold down shift and press down. And then I'm going to find uh, D. And there it is. And I play this. And you could take a screenshot with your computer and of, the, of that so you could save it if you want to get them all in sequence. That would be the way to do that for right now. And you go... You see? And then I hold down shift and hit one. And now it's saying to do this, which totally works. Yeah. Or I could go kind of like that. So, and I'm going to end up on this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit space. Because see, I'm at the seventh fret here. And I want this to go down to here. And I'm going to go up to this melody note. And that's going to be a drop two. I just know that. But you could experiment again. And there it is. So, so you see, um, that's how you would find that. And you could do this from any floor in the elevator, following it through in the app. So see, I'll um, do one more. So this is C major six, and now I have to find C moving to D to E in the melody. So that will be, I'm gonna go down to the thirds. And here we go. So this is, and it's going to tell me, see? It's going to tell me, it's kind of awkward uh, to, to move, but, um, whoops. And then we go to, um, which is really pretty. And again, you can check out Chris's video at Things I Learned from Barry Harris, going for, through just using the elevator in this way, but I thought I'd share with you guys just a way of practicing with the labyrinth um, to find, you could find all the variations of this. You could start from each floor um, until you kind of run out of space on your guitar. Um, but starting from thirds, starting from triads, starting from uh, shell chords, um, any of these possibilities are really great. And you can take little screenshots so you can kind of have them lined up for yourself to look at. Um, or just use your memory and just kind of go back. And, and I think that process of having to go back is kind of good for us in a way to uh, have to, you know, it kind of is encouragement to kind of get the voicings in your memory. But then you're not just trying to memorize every voicing that exists, you're actually looking at particular moves. And when, um, you know, when we talk about movement, what's so great about Barry's kind of system that and all these wonderful ideas is that it gives us this really sophisticated, nuanced way of codifying movement. So you can say like, yeah, on Autumn Leaves, I like to do a, a, a thirds, you know, thirds out to triads, out to shell chords, out to drop twos. I think that's really lovely. And that is going to make one thing happen. <laughs> if you're playing the melody on top, that's going to make this happen. <laughs> this has been um, helpful just uh, for folks who are checking out the app or would like to. Um, again, I'll have an update coming up soon that I'm excited to share with you guys uh, where we will be able to save songs and share songs with each other um, and I can share lessons with you guys. And that's going to really help me to do other updates that I will be doing because I've been worried about doing updates that if I sent an update out and someone had sh saved um, 50 songs that they might be upset with me. So uh, going forward, after this next update, you will be able to save all the songs and you can save multiple versions and load up different ones and we can and share them with each other, which is kind of cool. And that includes the substitutions you choo to choose over the chords and uh, you know more nuance will come as we go, but there's a lot going on here now 
Thank you very much and more to come. Keep practicing.